All right, guys, in this video, I thought I would do a little walking as we go to check out a new restaurant and a place called North Point here in Dumaguete. We're going to talk about uh, this video is really for the newbies. Uh, when you first arrive in the Philippines, what to expect and uh, where to go, what to do and uh, what to see. Stick around. All right, guys, so when you first land in the airport, unfortunately, the first thing you run into is uh, a scam, to be honest, and that can be either in Cebu or Manila. Thank you, sir. And uh, what I mean by that is as soon as you get out of the airport, you're going to be um, approached by people offering you a taxi ride. They'll come up and they'll say, Hey, where are you staying at? Where are you going? And you'll say, oh, I'm staying at the Waterfront Hotel. And they'll say, oh, only 500 pesos. We can take you right now. And you're like, oh, you, you think in your head, you're thinking 500 pesos? That's like $10. That's super cheap. But in reality, it's not. Um, if you get a metered cab, it'll be much cheaper. Go out and ask for a metered cab. Or go out and... Uh, call a grab so one of the other things that you should be doing is downloading the grab app on your phone before you ever even arrive here set that up and you can set up your card with it and you can order the grab app order a grab car right in the airport and um, the grab car is a set price no matter if you're stuck in traffic or if they take you a long way or whatever way, it doesn't make a difference. Grab car is one set price and so you don't even have to worry about it. So that is what I recommend. Um, we're coming up on North Point here, which is a variety of restaurants. And uh, you can see the, uh, the sign here behind me, North Point. Well, we're going to go ahead and walk in and uh, take a look. Maya's going to vlog the new restaurant that we're checking out today. And um, I will walk around and I will show you uh, North Point. Okay, so all kinds of uh, restaurants here. And this place at nighttime really gets hopping. You got uh, bars and you got uh, burger places. Japanese, all kinds of Lake John. Good morning. Yeah, right now there's not a whole lot of people here. I'm just gonna do a quick walk around. Places even back here. All right, guys. Well, we're at it. The new restaurant door is open, and there is nobody in sight. Um, so either it's closed, uh, or they all went to the bathroom at the same time. So uh, anyway, we have a, a really great view up here. And so I don't know if the camera catches it all there, but uh, there's a great ocean view here. Anyway, so what to expect again with the taxis, uh, do yourself a favor, download the Grab app in your home country still, set it all up. When you land, you can call a Grab going right to your uh, hotel ignore all the offers as you come in Cebu Manila either of those place 
If you have to take a meter taxi, you can go up to the curb and say you want a meter taxi, but only make sure they turn on the meter immediately. Make sure you follow with Google Maps so they're not taking you out of the way. And uh, also make sure that they aren't turning off the meter or tell you in the middle of the ride, hey, uh, the, the meter is not working or something, because that can happen as well. Uh, Second, uh, get yourself a SIM card. You can do it at the airport. It's a bit more expensive on the plans in the airport. So if you can wait, wait till you get to the mall or something, but otherwise you can get one still pretty inexpensive at the airport for however long you plan on spending in the Philippines. Or start off with a very small basic plan and then go to the mall and upgrade that plan later. The other thing I tell this people, I tell people this over and over, if you've never been don't go book long-term accommodations immediately. Book a hotel for about three days and then book long-term. Because you might get, or you might get to a place and you're there for two days and you're like, this place is not what I thought. I do not want to be here. Or vice versa, you might really like it and you just want to extend. Now, if you want to know where I recommend staying, check out my list on the updated list on the hotels I recommend for 2024. It's on my website, Geo in the Philippines. Just click on the article and click on the picture of the hotel that you're interested in and it'll take you right to the booking page. If you're going to use the dating apps, do that once you've purchased a plane ticket, then people, girls will take you much more seriously. If you're chatting with them and they may say, oh, okay, you know, they hear it all the time about guys who say they're coming to the Philippines and they never come or they keep pushing out the date after date after date. Well, if you have a plane ticket in hand, you can literally say, hey, I arrived, look at Cebu, June 2nd. You know, um, do yourself a favor. Don't do the scoop and swoop at the airport. Get back to your hotel, rest, shower, eat, all of that, and then go out and meet uh, the Filipino you've been chatting with. Now, this is, uh, purely opinion it doesn't mean it's for everyone but don't put all your eggs in one basket what I mean is I've talked to plenty of guys who've gotten out here and uh, they've chatted with somebody they purposely went to that city and then boom she disappears she ghosts ghosts them and then you've just made your entire trip around this one person I always say it's better to choose where you want to go or live in the Philippines than meet the Filipina. So uh, if, you're, if you want to spend time in Dumaguete or Cebu or Bohol, then search for girls that live in that area or who are willing to meet you in that area and if you pay for the bus ticket or ferry ride or whatever. So much better option to be in a place that you wanted to see and do things at versus a place that you would have never had any interest in seeing or doing anything there anyway but you only went there specifically for the girl uh get yourself a vpn the best deal right now is surfshark vpn up to 78 percent off plus two months for free click the link in the description it'll allow you to access sites you know from your home country that you may not be able to access otherwise browse the internet safely and you can also uh, log into like Netflix and get um, US Netflix, Australian Netflix, things like that with a totally different lineup of shows. Check it out today. I highly recommend it. The other thing is um, pack as light as possible. Wear shirts that are like breathable, like uh, quick dry, you know, uh, you know, things like that. It'll make your life so much easier. Shorts, uh, just be comfortable. It can be very hot here. Uh, like today, I'm like sweating like crazy. <laughs> um, so those are just some tips. And also, you don't need to sign up for things like Gcash unless you're going to actually live here. So those are the main tips that I recommend for somebody who just steps off of a plane here. It'll make your life so much easier. Again, don't book long term unless you know... Uh, for sure that you are going to stay in that one location. Don't put all your eggs in one basket when meeting a girl if you've never met her before. Don't travel to a destination just for a Filipina. 
if you've never met her because she might ghost you and then you're stuck in this place that uh, you didn't want to be and you've booked long-term accommodations and you've wasted a lot of money. Also, download the Grab app ahead of time, use Grab, tac grab Car or use a metered cab as a second choice, Grab Car first primarily, and uh, get out and get away from some of the other expats. You don't need to hang out in heavily expat areas. You will have a much better experience getting out and seeing the province and other places, uh, you know, fly into the city, spend a few days, and then venture out and get off the beaten track. So, anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Ciao.